Hello, welcome to Heart's Happiness Podcast. My name is Mabry. I'm a trauma transformation coach and mentor. And this is the place where we help you to heal from your past trauma so you can step into your authentic self, the person that you came here to be, and learn how to create a life that makes your heart happy. And then my wish for you is through that journey that you uncover the reason you're here so that you can then go on to heal the world in your unique way and together we can break cycles of trauma. Hello my loves, welcome back for another episode of Heart Happiness. I know I always say I'm super excited but I'm extra excited today because I'm interviewing my coach for the second time. So Serena, I'm going to pop our first conversation in the episode notes where we talk all about mindset to go for our purpose and just about her journey. But I really wanted to bring her back again because she has had a baby, um, I think he's about six months old now, and I've really witnessed her journey and how she's created a life for her family based on her own specification, her own heart happiness. And she has lent into the mindset, the energetics and the inner work to make that dream a reality. And it can be feel so scary to create something better for ourselves and to create a better life for ourselves and the work that we have to do in order to make that a reality. So I thought I'd bring her back on again because she's so inspirational to me and she supports me so much. Um, so we will be hearing from her in just one second. And she's really inspired me to share my journey of entrepreneurship with others as well, which is why I have a mastermind group starting in July for six months, where I will be supporting six people to create and put out into the world their businesses to help others, like whatever that might be, coaching, mentoring, healing, hypnotherapy, whatever it might be, all you've got to do is have that intention to help others and break that cycle of trauma in your own way um, and to put your healing journey in a way that can help others. But I will help you with feeling safe to be visible, into earning money, into like marketing and selling yourself and all the things that you have to learn up front. Um, I will help you with that. And also all the mindset and the energetics that you need to do too. So that's what that space is for six months, a combination of one-to-one and group and you get daily support. And we talk a little bit about actually Serena's work that we did together when I was in her mastermind. And that's actually really what inspired me to do these groups. I'm doing one for beginners and one for those that are a little bit further along. So do get in touch. You can drop me an email at mapri at heartshappiness.co.uk to meet up on Zoom and to discuss it. And I'm going to pass you over to my wonderful coach now. I'm super excited because I get to interview my one of my favorite people for the second time. Serena, welcome back to the podcast. Did you want to um, introduce yourself again and explain what it is that you do? Yes. So I'm Serena. I am a business mentor and a certified mindset coach. So I help coaches and service providers to start, grow and scale your online business with more sustainability and success. I really look at how you can build a business that fits in with your life, that gives you more impact with your own clients, that makes you feel more confident and like a leader, that supports you to create the freedom that you want in your life, create more income, all of those things. Yes, and you do it so, so well. So we've been working together now for like, I don't know, like 18 months? Maybe something like that. It's been that long. It feels like forever in a really yeah. positive way. <laughs> it does. I can never leave you as we discuss all the time. I'll carry on with you a little bit longer. Oh, we don't really need you anymore, but just going to do it because I just like having you around. Um, but it's been such an amazing journey for me to work with you because I always, I know we talk about this all the time, how you're like one year ahead of me. Mm-hmm. And it's like one year ahead and everything that you experienced like last year, I'll always be going for it a year later. And it's just so helpful to have somebody that's that you know that it was that close for them the change like you know you can read books and listen to podcasts and they won't be exactly in this moment and just seeing you like especially now that you've had the baby and you've ch- made changes in your business and just watching you do that really is such a great inspiration to me to like change things and I think over the last year when we've been working together where I've had to make changes to um work less and take care of my body for my journey to be a mum. Just learning from you 
about you sort of tweaking that dream? Because when we started working together, that was like your first six figure year, right? I think. Yes. Yeah, it was. Because I'm trying to think of when we actually like started. November 2020. It was in the November. Yes. Yeah, it was actually before I had my. So the. In that November, I, in that year, had closed the year at like doubling my corporate salary. So I want to say it was like nearly, nearly like an 80K a year. I think it was like 78, something like that. Like, so that's where I was at the end of last, that, that year. And then, yeah, then the following year was my first six figure year, which was incredible, but so different because I managed to do it with working less. Um, and then things have obviously progressed there, um, yeah. which I think that's the part that we're focusing on today, right? Yeah, that's right. So I think because me and you, we actually started working November 2022, just like after you got married. And mm -hmm. um, so I, I think you'd already had that crazy year the year before where you worked loads and then you changed things up that year where you became six figures. So I feel like it was that year. You're so I, right. Do you right? know what I, I say? Like I feel like we've been with <laughs> I think I've added on a year of us working together. You're so right. So yeah, we yeah, started working like, together. And that's right. And then last year was my first six-figure year. And then you were making – obviously, you had your baby, and then you made changes. And, mm -hmm. and that's exactly what we're going to talk about today, which is you You are such a great inspiration to me in the sense of, you know, we're very similar in that we set this goal, this big dream to say earn a certain amount you bought your house I think maybe mm -hmm. similar to a little bit after me but you know like all those things of getting married having the house all of the things um but then you know as we go in along in our journey of entrepreneurship like everybody and everybody has permission to go actually this isn't kind of working I want to make changes and I think you've done that every year in some way right so like the, at the beginning when you worked so much and then making a decision to work less but still earn more and mm -hmm. then uh, and then the shifts obviously with motherhood too yeah definitely and you're, yeah you're so right yeah so we started working together yeah, at the end of my first six figure year and the the change in that year from the year before was exactly that it was that in that first in my first year of business and it's the same with everyone I was like super overworking to try and just make as much money as I could and it was also like the excitement of having a brand new business but I literally took off half a half a day <laughs> oh, that's that crazy. compared to what you do now it's actually mad I know like half a day and it was you know some of it was because I was so excited excited some of it was because I was trying and testing out loads of strategies and I was growing my visibility but a huge part of it for me personally was my mindset I was in this really like overworked corporate mindset that the more that I put in the more that I would get out of something so that's where I was in that first year and yeah my next year when I had my first six-figure year in my second year of business like I wanted to do that but I had a hell of a lot of holidays to take I was like I'm getting married all my friends are getting married I've got millions of Hindus weddings <laughs> abroad and my first thought was like I don't think this is possible like it's not yeah. possible do all of this yeah. I remember saying it to my coach like, oh well I can't I can't have that year if I've got all these holidays in so I had to almost focus everything that I had on being able to grow the income and be able to do it with less time in the business and I what I realized was when you get to in the beginning of your business a lot of it is to do with strategy a lot of it is to do with like you learning the steps to take about visibility, about marketing, a lot of it is that in those early stages. But as you grow and you're growing away from like just learning what to do and you're growing to maybe that six figure mark, a lot of it, and I know that you know this as well now, like a lot of it is to do with yourself and yeah. your thoughts, your identity, the things you're going to let go of, the things, the way that you're going to be, who you're going to be. And that was a massive shift for me when I went into that year was actually, it was more about me as a person as opposed to, well, what else do I need to do? And that's how I managed to like, like bring more in, but with less time. Mm. And I guess as well, you had to really, I'm guessing early on, you started to work on that belief, that limiting belief that you'd had from co the corporate world, which is, oh, I have to work X amount of hours to get, X amount, like time for money type thing like you had to work on those beliefs mm -hmm. to shift out of it right and then you had a different result definitely and you know this is gonna I can't believe I used to feel this but I literally remember doing this I would almost like try and find things to do 
it's like I couldn't bring myself to finish but, at five or bring myself to finish at six. I was like, oh, that's really early. Like, I'll do this or I'll do that. I'd fill my time till nine or I'd fill my time till eight that night because I was just so used to working with that time. And I almost felt like a failure if I hadn't done it, like I wasn't yeah. doing it. Yeah. And that was one of my first things to do is getting comfortable with having space, like yes, having yeah. space in my diary and knowing that's okay and really challenging the thoughts that were coming up for me that I had to then overwork and looking at you know all the usual stuff as if you know if anyone's listening they're a mindset coach they've done these belief work like where where the hell are those beliefs come from like that eight-year-old version of me who like was told that she had to work really hard like she was running my business and like mm. I didn't want to run my business like that anymore so I had to work on that first and then if I'm honest I had to test it out first by booking a holiday to Dubai like yeah, I just yeah, I remember you saying that you did that and it's it's mad, isn't it? Because when you start, because I I can really relate to this. Because again, one year ahead of you, mm-hmm. I remember when I used to send you messages going, okay, well I, I've created the space, but I used to just sit on my sofa like <laughs> holding my breath, like something bad was going to happen because I wasn't working. And mm-hmm. how was everything going to be safe? If and and to be fair, I'm still working through this. Um, I still find that it'll come up, and I'm like, oh my god, I did it again. I worked because. I wasn't feeling safe in you know, taking the space. But that's kind of like that level of healing that we have to do in order to, you know, like bring our lives into alignment. Like you can carry on working like a nutcase, of course, but you you actually chose to get uncomfortable with why, like, am I so weird and I just have to work till eight yeah. and I'm going to all the time. A hundred percent. And I think a big thing for me that year was really looking at, a lot of myself and it was actually not to do with business it was things that I felt uncomfortable about about the way that I felt about me about like relationships that I had around me I did a lot of work on all of these things like the way that I felt towards like family and friends and like look myself and you know even will like there was loads of stuff that I was looking at personally that helped me to change the way that I felt about like my own success and what I had to do to create it Yes. And it was all of that work. And it was things that I remember saying to my coach, well, this thing has come, like, come up for me this week. And it's nothing to do with business, by the way. And it was actually us talking about that that then created the shifts in business. And that's why, you know, even with like you guys all know and like that I say with clients, bring anything that you think might be relevant because I promise you if it's come up, it's relevant. Like, yeah, I mean, I definitely feel like for the last year when we've been working together, it- we, you know it hasn't really been about the businessy type stuff because I kind of know what to do but it w- it's been more about all of those things like you know beliefs and the past and childhood and um, all of the things that were are blocking me to think a certain thing can't be true for me um but yeah it's exactly the same I don't think I've spoken to you about business very much at all like recently it's been about so much yeah. stuff and that's because of like the stage that you're in in business it's that's you know I was saying like it becomes less about the strategy like sometimes we'll talk about like obviously it's still important the shifts that we can make there's always things that are changing like new ways that we can do things but it becomes like a much smaller quicker conversation of something that you can do and then but it's more about like who you are being and the things that are coming up for you and like another really big thing like that year was that you know and I am trying to be more open with this now um but that year well for years like I've always really struggled with an eating disorder and that was the year that I really really focused on that and that was another really big thing for me like me working on that helped me to get comfortable with having more space because it was that like driven side of me that you know that was all related and yes. that actually really me getting uncomfortable with space and healing that side as well really helped me in the business yeah um, because you needed it for your health right so, to slow down so that you because I'm guessing maybe the disorder, disorder even was born out of the amount of stress and pressure you were putting on to yourself mm, that kind yeah. of to control everything it's all it's all related and you know even me like working on that part like really helped with the business so there were definitely a lot of shifts to be made there was all of these mindset shifts all of the identity shifts and like the the beliefs that came up but there were definitely strategy shifts in there made like big changes to my product suite 
I made some really big changes to like, I learned a lot about messaging and like how to really speak to more people, like the Reddit people ready to move as opposed to, you know, just anyone, which meant that the content was working much harder for me. So there were definitely strategic things that happened. But I think something that isn't probably talked about enough is like, most of it is to do with yourself when it comes to that shift from like the you know, if you say around like the 5k mark to a month to like a six figure year, like it mostly is about you. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I, and I I can definitely see that in my own experience, because that is what I really started to work on through working with you. Um, because, you know, I was doing a lot of other stuff anyway, but just tightening up some of the strategy, but it was, it was definitely the inner work that was the thing that helped shifted me. And, and I think this is the beauty, again, of working with someone that is that one step ahead of you is that you know from working with you I and even what you shared about your, yourself and your eating disorder and your health stuff because I was going through you know it was different but so many similarities where like my body was really calling me to work less so that I could manage some of this health things I had going on and some of the ways that maybe I had over medicated you know, some of the ways that I had dealt with being this overachieving nutcase. (laughs) So, you know, and again, it was just so helpful for even when you were like, when I would be even saying to you, I don't, I kind of sometimes didn't know how to take care of my body and take care of my business. I didn't know how to create space for me. Like I felt so guilty about that. But if it was for a client or for something else, I wouldn't feel anything about that. And just because you'd been through something similar, different, but similar, that that helped me so much so like it's it's crazy like that something so personal for you and something I know that in the past maybe that you even struggled speaking about I remember listening we were already working at the time together but listening to your live where you spoke about your eating disorder and honestly I had so many light bulbs go off just from what you were sharing and that's the thing isn't it when we when we allow ourselves to be supported by someone like you get first of all you're like this inspiration to me in the fact that you're showing me what's possible so my mind gets to eat that all up because it's like oh Serena's doing it and you know she's been able to do this and so I can see that and obviously being in your energy and and seeing that in real life and then also when I'm going through something the amount of relief I feel when you say oh yeah this totally happened to me as well don't worry this is what happens like otherwise you just think you're crazy and it's just happening to you especially some of the things that I've been navigating around relationships and friendships and family Mm -hmm. and all the things as I've been changing and I never thought that was part of the the business game you know which is really how it just up levels like that healing process yeah you're so right and I think you know it's also really easy to get caught up with say if you're not if someone is listening to this and maybe they're like not working with anyone at the moment and then you're seeing all these things on Instagram about people's wins and the things that are doing and like these shiny lives and it's amazing like that is one side of it but I think when you get to work with someone you really get to see like you you know probably know everything that's happened to me we've worked together for so long and like we've had so many things that resonate with each other that I've shared like exactly what it's been like and I think it's so important to know to know that about other people's businesses as well like I remember points with coaches that I've worked with before and me saying like oh this is happening like in like you know a certain launch or when I'm selling something and when they've almost like validated how I felt or validated what's happening and I know that it's normal and it's okay like it's just so good for yourself and your nervous system and to know that's all right and it helps you to keep moving it's not like anything's changed but it helps you to keep moving yeah yeah definitely and just means that you keep taking action rather than you just like stuck because the year before we worked together I didn't have a coach one-to-one I did do some coaching but like Mm -hmm. programs like where I was learning a lot of things and so I didn't have anybody to like really lean on when I got stuck in my fear or I got stuck in anxiety or I got stuck in self-sabotage I would just literally freeze up on the sofa and try to pull myself out of it and if anything I think sometimes I just I pay you to so I can co-regulate with you so that I can have a way to get out of it and that's the thing like you're always going to move forwards but these things can get you really really stuck and I I see that with people who are going for dreams like setting up a business going for their purpose that they'll get stuck because their own mind and their own nervous system isn't really built to carry on and they're not Mm -hmm. allowing themselves the gift of support and I think that's where support has really helped me to kind of 
um, have that example, but also, you know, as I'm stretching, because we're kind of stretching, right? Like you're stretching your nervous system when you decided to work less and get six figures. And then obviously we've got to get on to when you had to stretch again because you got pregnant and had to change things again. I Were you not like, oh, I just want one year where it's just the same? <laughs> like I don't want to have to do things again different. Every year I'm like, could we just have a bit of like It just feels like... <laughs> Yeah. We just had a bit of a break. So actually, before we move on to that, I want to share something actually. Like, like just what you've said is so, so important about getting that support. Like, like as an example, like I'm a business mentor. Like I love business. I know that I know this stuff all day long, but like recently, like I made an investment for a whole year in like someone to support me with my own business and mindset and energy. Just for all of those reasons. It's the stretch for me now and having that someone to like guide me help me to see the blind spots in my own business but also to help me with my own energy and have that like almost accountability for my own mindset as well is like just super important even though you might know feel like you know the answers sometimes like you said it just gets you there so much quicker and helps to stretch you and yeah. quite similar like I've gone for someone who she's like an example to me she's just done the thing that I want to do so I think that is really really important what you yeah just you don't want someone that's too far away I think sometimes because mm-hmm. that feels like it's un- like out of reach but almost like when they're just a couple of steps it can be so powerful I, re- I really really think that and um what you said there as well is um the blind spot thing this is huge because sometimes you'll tell me stuff and I'm like say this to my friends how did I totally miss this because when you're in it yourself and you're activated by fear or stress or anxiety, you got you don't really you can't really access your entire brain. So that's why you do need somebody to kind of lean on when you're like that because you don't you're not your normal self either, <coughs> which has happened to me. A hundred percent. You could be a total master in what you do, but when it's yourself, you sometimes don't see it like mm-hmm. and it's so normal for anyone like you know you the same like you know you're a master of what you do in terms of like mindset and healing and all of those things but then for yourself you might just need some support in those areas it's like it's the same with anyone so yeah I think all of that is so so true we can move yeah. on that I know I like digressed and like no, no, no. We'll get, no, I think as well it what I found um and I, I said I think I said this on our last podcast as well but and it's not just working with you, but I have other people that help me with different things. And um, to be mentored by someone is great training for your, for for if somebody's doing what you want to be doing and they're just a little bit ahead of you, that is so great for your bit. Like I've learned so much from you, mm-hmm. um, you know, and that's been so helpful. And I have like other people that help me with things like the trauma and nervous system and stuff like that. And they just teach me so many things that I don't think you guys even realize because it's just who you are now. Um, but that's just so helpful and then I get to bring that into my work and that's like so it's almost an inv- investment to make my myself an even better coach I would say like I don't know if, if you can relate to that where you know I know you've worked with some great people over the years and they've really inspired you and you've le- you you learn about coaching from being coach yeah and you know I always remember you saying that to me last year yeah. and I remember like I get feedback from co- from clients like about you know anything to do with their confidence you know freedom income clients and but I always remember you saying that and it was like that shit different that yeah you I remember felt, your reaction like, when you said it as well like you looked different yeah. when you said it I was like yeah uh, I, love, okay. like, I love that and I think it's something to do with like when you lead with like service and um impact like it's almost like that impact becomes even greater, doesn't it? Like yeah. you get to help more people now. And it just, it felt really amazing. For, and I totally agree. Like if I think about like certain containers that I've been in, the coaching has been so powerful. I felt like a different coach off of the back of them. Yes, like, and yeah. And I, I, I almost like um, facilitate my containers differently from being in that container that year, for example, like yeah. totally, I completely resonate with that. Yeah, totally. I mean, it, like, you know, being coached by you and I've done some courses over the years. I'm doing a couple at the moment and they're just so amazing. Like I'm just seeing how you can't get the inside of somebody else's business as well. And you see how they run and what, what programs they do and how they run it. And you just learn so much from it. So I, I kind of feel like if you want to be in, a, in this this market of helping others and coaching and mentoring, like you got to be like, like a purchaser yourself, really, to to sort of experience yeah. these things and 
And that's a really important part of building the success, I reckon. So definitely. And I think, you know, the, I think that that phrase sometimes gets a bit of a hard rap, doesn't it? Like, you know, you have to invest to get people to invest in your life. And I don't think it's necessarily just as simple as that. I think it's what you said. It's like having that exchange and you continuously learning and also you being open to giving money to people for them for you to receive it yourself and also it's the shift in you and the shift of energy when you put something into your business that changes you and your own energy for you to then bring clients in as well and I think it isn't yeah. just as simple as like when you invest clients will come to you not at all like it's what you do the work as well <laughs> you, you do the work yeah yeah you do You're the work you change like you know when if I look at back at some really significant investments like the the really big ones I've made have made a huge difference to my business not just from what I've learned but how I've changed in that process yeah definitely I, I can totally agree with that as well like just you become so different like what I find ever since I've gone full-time with the business which has been like nearly two and a half years oh my god that's ages and I I'm so different like every every like I'm different from January <laughs> like so different from January like it's like a personal growth track which is just insane. And when you're in those containers as well, where you're focusing a lot on, you know, how you're growing, how you're expanding, how you're changing things, like, because we talk about that a lot, don't we? Like what we're focusing on, what we're celebrating, mm -hmm. that you really get to see how much you're changing. Um, and it's great because it's an environment that really recognizes that and celebrates that. Whereas sometimes in your normal life, they, they haven't really quite realized. And then all of a sudden they see you changing, like looking different and being different. And it's oh, so good, but we get to do that as part of the journey, which I, I love, I love it. I love being coached. It's fabulous. <laughs> it's such a great gift. So when you came into last year and then you got pregnant, how mm -hmm. you had your six figure year? And I know you had a lot, cause you're like me, you love a plan. And I'm guessing yeah. you just throw that plan away. <laughs> oh my God. I, do you know what? It's such a funny thing. Cause it was like the, the best moment like getting that news but then what I wasn't expecting was to like freak out a little bit about business and that's just me being really honest about it I totally did like I oh, it was planned but and I planned for it and I planned my year out it was I found out in January and I like had factored this into the year but what I wasn't expecting was like the block that would come actually up when I did get pregnant and even though like I said it was a planned thing I was questioning so much was like wondering well what will happen to the business when I take time off can I take that much time off and then one day I, I remember thinking why do I have a business <laughs> like I came up with all of the things and I do also think that it was massively to do with hormones as well at the time because you're almost just going crazy in the beginning well yeah. the whole way through apparently but like especially crazy in the beginning so I know that it was to do with that as well. And also like you're changing also, you know, without a person coming into the world, like even before that, just from getting pregnant, it's like my priorities, priorities in my mind shifted. Like I was, you know, becoming way more responsible and like there were loads of things that changed for me. And I don't think I was quite expecting all of those thoughts to come up. Mm. Um, and, you know, I do, as you were the same, love a plan. And, you know, that plan got thrown out of the window and we had to, like, start a new one. And even though that plan what, did have everything factored in, like, but sometimes the reality is different. So I came up with all of the blocks first. So, like, can I actually take that amount of time off? What will happen to the business? Sometimes I thought, are people going to want to sign up to work with me if I'm pregnant? Like, are mm -hmm. people going to work with me when I've got a baby? I came up with all of these questions, all of these things. And also at that time, I had really, really, really bad. I mean, morning sickness is an absolute lie. I had it all day long. Oh my um, God, you would never, ever knew that because you would just turn up to your course. I had no idea like that you were puking up all that time. Like, what yeah. about the hiding that? Because that's, like, impressive. <laughs> yeah the beauty of makeup <laughs> beauty and also I think at that time all I could focus on in that time with the energy that I had all I could focus on was my client calls like I couldn't I couldn't go out and do anything 
I couldn't, I was barely having any energy to do any marketing or selling. I was basically like repurposing a lot because I just didn't have the headspace for it. And I was like, I can only, if I'm going to have a certain amount of energy here, it's going to be to the clients that are working with me right now. So that's what I really focused on. So the first thing I had to do was like ride the wave of those first couple of weeks where I was working through my mind that I was having all these changes and like, what did this mean for the plan? And also just actually working on feeling better because I was so sick. And then I had to at first, again, like it was, it was all the mindset stuff. It's like we say, it just never ends, does it? So I thought I'd worked on all the mindset stuff the year before and then all came, you know, all these new things that were coming up for me and I had to work on those things first. So remembering that, yes, I'm going into like a new phase of my life, but I still am the same person. Like I'm still the same person that's created this business success. I can absolutely do this, you know, this year. And I needed to find evidence of the people who still had a really successful business, but had a baby and that were able to take time off. And I had to get really clear on what I wanted that to look like for me. So Did I want to take, you know, I so my friends are pregnant at the time. Did I want to take a year off? Did I want to take six months off? Did I want to take three months off? Did I want to take two weeks off? Like, what did that look like for me? So I needed to get really clear on like what I wanted the business to look like and what I wanted to look like now as a business owner and as a mum at the same time. Yeah. But doing that without even having the baby there yet. So I had to figure out what that looked like quite early and that really helped me to see, look, and I would I would gander at all these like mums who mums who were coaches and service providers and to give my mind the evidence that it was possible and also to see the way that people were doing things, to see the way that I would want to do it. Like if you have a look around, there will be people doing this in such different ways, people who don't really take that much time off, people who take an extended time off. And I just decided to design my own type of mat leave where I basically didn't follow what anybody else was doing and I did it completely to what would work with me, my business, my the way I wanted to be a mum and the way I wanted to run my business. And that was really the first thing. It was figuring out, again, it's the identity thing, like who did I want to be as a mum and a business owner with a baby and a, and a business? Yeah, and what I love about it is that you're actually sitting there with a blank piece of paper and creating it rather than just like, so often don't we just copy what other people do? Like we just yeah. copy it without even knowing because when you don't do it with intention, you just create something that's the same as everyone. I mean, if even if like all the years that we worked in the corporate world, it's just because that's what we believed that was possible until we got coached ourselves and we saw a different life that we then went, oh, I could do something different. Like it's so crazy that our mind... We'll just repeat unconsciously what we what we've seen before. Like you said, like a year's worth. I'm telling you, that's what everyone does. I remember even when when I chose to leave the BBC and um we were uh, planning to have a baby at some point, and Simon was like, "But you don't want to you don't want to lose that mat that mat leave money." You know, that's like the thing that everybody says. But you got to do it for the mat leave money. <laughs> like, but you proved that you were able to continue consistent income even when you were on let's put it in quotes mat leave. Like again, yeah. like, belief you you created your own rules, which is like I actually it would it would really suit me to have consistent income. So how can I plan for that? How can I create that? A hundred percent. So it was almost like looking at the and I this is what I'll do with clients in my own business all of the time. And it was almost like going back to those core things that I always do, but for a different scenario. Like, okay, what did who did I want to be, and what did I want this to look like? And I was like, okay, so baby's due at this day. I want this much amount of time off. But even during that time off, how do I want the business to run? Do I want to keep any clients on? What would that look like in terms of like polls and et cetera? How am I going to keep marketing going? All of those things. And then when I come back, what does that look like? What's that next stage? And what's that next stage? I got really, really clear on it. And then I decided I made some decisions that, okay, I want, like you said, I was like, okay, I want this much time off. But in that time, I want there to be income coming in every single month. I don't want to be feeling like I've got nothing coming in and I want that security. And I love a holiday. (laughs) So, like, we had plans to go to, like, Vietnam and Dubai. And, you know, we've just been away again. And we're going away in, like, in July. And I was like, I want to be able to do those things as well. And obviously, 
to have a certain amount of freedom, you need the financial freedom first, the resources. So I had to think, well, how can I save for that as well? So what I wanted to do last year at the beginning of the year is I planned when I was going to finish work, but how I was going to bring in that consistent income when I was off, but also how during that time I was working, which was about eight months, it's very sick during some of that time, but about eight months, like how was I going to increase that income and actually bring in a certain amount of cash before so it sounds like quite a lot of little bits i hope i've explained that as clearly as possible. i don't know it makes it's, you know, yes. it really helps but i just love i love that it's like you're a painter <laughs> like you're just creating your own life like yeah right? I've, even for me like, even seeing you do that i remember when you were like yeah i'm because oh, you still saw me during that time like yeah. you, you were just out of the picture for like a few weeks i remember mm. thinking you were totally completely crazy i was like <laughs> how is she going to do it like what is she doing? <laughs> but also, but then when I saw you do it, I was like, well, actually, the baby is sleeping quite a lot. So, you know, fair enough. And you were like really particular about who you took during that time as well, um, weren't you? So you weren't just taking yeah. everyone, that it was people that you felt like really good with. And that was just such a great, and I think just even though I've been, you know, watching your journey and just seeing the way that you do it, but like that giving yourself permission to create it and even though I've seen you doing it how I will always fight it like I will just go oh no 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 what I'll do is I'll just carry on doing what what's worked before because that makes me feel safe and then it doesn't work because I'm not supposed to do that anymore I'm like whatever's been happening for me this year is like the universe is just like can you just please stop can you just stop can you just please act like your baby's here and just stop and um like but you've actually done that intentionally whereas I think sometimes it's kind of put upon me because I won't do what I actually need sometimes I'll kind of I'll be fighting the urge to feel safe so I'll be like oh let me do all the things I used to do let me just work a little bit too much over here and then it'll be safe for me to do that but I think what's like amazing about you and even though like I said you have been such an example to me for this but I will fight it which is because we, you know it's so you're so like brave in the sense of oh this is new oh, okay, this is uncomfortable. Oh, we know what happens here. It's the same old things. It's the mindset. It's like the planning of it. This is how I'm going to deal with it. And like for you to come up, I mean, I bet you it's not as graceful as that, but it just seems very graceful when you're talking about <laughs> I was gonna say like you're like I appreciate all of your comments, but I promise you, along the way of that, like there should might... be a reality show. I want to see yeah. what it looks like. Yeah, <laughs> I want like, to like the real what is happening behind the scenes. <laughs> the crazy comments that I made, honestly, through that time, this all sounds great because I've done a lot of reflecting on this. Yeah, but through that time, there were definitely things that I would have done differently. Yeah. There were things that didn't go quite to plan. And what I did find that I did, which is quite similar to what you're saying that you've, you've just experienced, is during the time of like my, the pregnancies, the eight months where I was working, and because it, it, obviously the first month was like, what's, you know, I didn't know I was pregnant. So it's like eight months that you know, right? Um, like during that time, like, yes, I had the blocks and then working through them and then the plan and then executed on the plan, but it definitely wasn't as flowy as that and it's like smooth sailing like there were definitely things where I pushed through um certain times to work when I shouldn't have done because I didn't yeah. feel like then there were times when I actually had about two projects that I invested in and planned but I didn't have the time to do them um just because I didn't have the time like the you know the end of my pregnancy was pretty crazy like as well the other thing with pregnancy is like the unexpected can always happen I had like actually caused me quite a lot of drama towards the end. And I had millions of appointments, millions of scans, lots of people telling me the baby was going to come a lot sooner than it was come because they were worried. Like there was loads of stuff that happened. And like there were things that during that time I just didn't have, to, I didn't have the mental space for because I was sorting all of this other stuff out. I just also just didn't have the time. So like as much as it sounds quite smooth sailing, there were definitely things yeah. that I would do differently or that would change. And like so many lessons about like when I would finish, how, mu how much I'd prioritize. But it all, I do believe that those things happen for a reason because I'm going to pass on those lessons. And I was meant to do it in the way that it happened. Like at the end, even though I didn't do those two projects, if I look at the end result of like the cash and the profit that came in, like, it was perfect like it didn't need to be any other way like yeah. it always worked out how it should yeah when you're at the end reflecting but when you're in it 
and that rocky ship is it's going crazy because I've had to do the same where I've had to like put a pin or cancel projects that I had invested in and again because you're you've you've been there so it's like you can do that you're allowed you have permission like you know go do yeah. that that's what you need to do you need to do what's best for you but it's all of these things that we haven't even been as a society or conditioned to like oh you know put yourself first put your own energy first what, what's going to suit you what's going to suit your body what's going to suit your health like and th the amazing thing about being an entrepreneur which I never really thought about beforehand which I now get to experience is that you get to build something that serves you like you get to build something that takes care of your life that gives your family the kind of life that you want or that you know and um, brings the kind of money that you want into it like you can literally do anything when you your mindset is aligned right because that's your mindset and your energy is aligned which is what you've been doing over the years yeah, a hundred percent. You know, there were moments, like I said, I had the in the first couple of weeks, those moments where I'd turn to Will and be like, Why do I have a business? Like I was like, because I had some friends who were pregnant at the same time, you know, I've I've have mum friends now. And um, you know, <laughs> they they all talk about like, you know, having a full year off and you know, my other mum friends, you know, they they are all off together more and you know, maybe I'm I'm working a certain amount of time during the week now. And, you know, there were moments where I did question it. I was like, would it have been easier if I just was in corporate and I had this, you know, badly package and I'd taken a year off? But I was like, no, it's not because it's not just about this time. It's not just about this year. It's about what I'm building for me and Archie. And actually, like, I work two days a week now and I don't, that doesn't get to end in a year. Like, I get to just work two days a week. Like, that's what yeah. I get to do all the time. And, and it doesn't take away from the quality of your life because you're like, you know, bringing in money to go on your holidays. You're not like, oh, oh, I'm only working part time because you're still getting paid the way you would would normally, right? Like, because you, you've mastered your business model in a way that serves you. And I think that's the thing I, you know, before I never used to really think about that. I'll just be like, oh, I just, I'm so terrified. I don't have a corporate salary anymore. Oh my God, I must go get money. It was like a crazy, crazy thing. But actually you get to create like whatever, what you have. And, you know, for me, again, watching you and you sharing those things with me is like, oh, does that mean I'm allowed to work two days a week? Because my body's really calling for me to do that. I don't even have a kid. Is this a bit too much, you know? Like, do you know, it now. Do yeah, it yeah, now. But, well, yeah, because I'm kind of having to with my health. But it's just that even that, and it's just, th this is such an amazing, part of the reason why I wanted you to come on as well is that, you know, your journey, like at the beginning when you left, you didn't have a business, you didn't have clients, which I know you shared more about last time. And then you went into that, got that six figure year, then was able to build your life, your family life around it. It's all because like your intention, the steps that you're taking, the plan that you're putting into motion and the inner work that you're doing, that you're able to create a life that's different for you and, you know, for your family, which, you know, like you said, lots of people, you know, I see, and, and this isn't, in a horrible way but I see so many of my friends who are back at work um and you know they're just so exhausted they don't get to have quality time with their kids and you know they don't get to they're really they, you know they they're not they're not the best version of themselves because they're so tired from doing all the thing but like because of the work that you've put in over the years it's going to be so different for you guys and I mean I'm, my kids aren't even here yet but that's part of the reason why you know sometimes I do question I'm like what the hell am I doing like would it be easier just to go back but it's for those things which is like well actually I'm going to be able to do two do a job I absolutely love twice a week and then you know have a few days where I get to hang, if I, you know the rest of the week where I get to hang out with my child that's it's pretty cool and get to be present for them as well like it's not like business isn't the easiest thing in the world but what it gets to create for you um, it's just it's incredible and and I think that's what I really wanted you on because we get to see that you just literally and you're doing it again this year like creating what works for you and what works for your family what works for your energy what works for your health what works for Archie like all of those things right a hundred percent and you're so right like and you know we've clearly both had these thoughts and I bet there isn't one entrepreneur out there that hasn't thought at one point would things be easy I, I like to think about giving you a cut yeah, like <laughs> we, once every couple every of months like, you know. everyone will be thinking it and you know and it's always in the moments you'll be thinking it when you're being challenged and like you know I always I've, I've tried to say this to myself all throughout business that challenge like if I'm in business I need to expect challenges are going to come yeah and when they come 
something more positive is going to happen afterwards. And, you know, there's been parts through my pregnancy and even when I had actually where I felt really challenged as I've been trying to juggle it all, doing the things like, but I know that, like you said, I'm building something that's so much bigger and greater that I get to, you know, have more time all of the time and never have to go about five days. Like, you know, I get to have more income I get to have more you know with what I used to do I didn't really ever take any holidays like we've been away several times this year like I've just been on more flights than buses like you know <laughs> like we get to have that and like it comes with challenges but it's so so worth it when like you say like you focus on those really core things like obviously there's the strategy there's the planning all of those things but then there's also like the inner work and there's the mindset and the energy part. When you combine those things, you get to create like the ultimate freedom in your life where you get to do all these things, but serve at the same time. Like, you know, the things that got me through the sickness and, you know, the times when, you know, it was in the beginning and I was like juggling the, I mean, I'm still juggling the business, but it gets a bit easier. But like, was really like plugging into Voxer, plugging into like calls and chatting to you guys. And you were like, I've done my in-person event. I've, you know, I've signed these clients income of, and my clients have hit these income goals. And ultimately, like being able to create a life for myself, my family and support other women to do the same is just what it's about. And just yeah, exactly. completely lights me up. Yeah, exactly. And it's like, you know, even and for me, so so many of the lessons and challenges that I've had, um, you know, since since I've gone into business, like having my miscarriage, my health stuff, you know, sometimes I'm like, oh, my God, why is this happening to me? But I'm learning so much from it. And, mm-hmm. and what I'm realizing is straight away, I get to serve people and help them with it, which is, you know, I, I had no idea like how business and health was actually so connected. And I've just been learning so much about that and and how we get to heal that, that everything that I'm, you know, right now healing and working through, I get to share with someone else. And like your lessons um, impact me, which I teach other people and then what I learn along the way as well. And it's like, what a great, wouldn't the world be a great place? Like if we were just all helping each other and that was the way that we earn money. And then we got to build like amazing lives. Like, I just want everybody to do this. <laughs> like, you know, it's scary and it's hard because of all those mindset things. Like you said, like, I love that, you know, you get down and with those blocks straight away, whenever you're about to create that new, new, new chapter, that new identity, because they're always going to be there. Like everybody is scared. Like nobody, you know, I think sometimes people are under the impression that it's really easy. Like you don't have any of that fear, but you decided to move forwards regardless of the fear and gone like I'm not actually gonna let this hold me back I'm gonna figure it out a hundred percent and like if anyone is listening to this and they've got the fears at the moment just know that it's so normal to be feeling them and it just means that you are I always think like feeling uncomfortable sometimes is a really good sign that you're moving forward Mm -hmm. because you're coming out of your comfort zone it means there's growth to be had like, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to share with you, and I don't think I've shared this. I'm going to share with you one crazy thought that I had when I found out I was pregnant. I remember saying to Will one day, I don't think, this is when I'd have, I've got a six-figure business at this point, by the way. I don't think I'm ever going to sign a client again, you know. I, I, was like, I don't know what it is about me, this. I was like, Will, on it. And he was like, you're being ridiculous. And I said, no, seriously, like, I think this is it. This is it for me. I'm never, and I had, I said it was such conviction, like, and I know it was probably the hormones as well, but like that is the type of block that could come up for me at that time. And I was like, okay, I need to, if I'd let that, my thoughts run away with me and just sit with that, I probably would have never signed a client again. But I was like, no, I'm going to move through this. I got the support. I kept like leaning with my coach. I like worked on the blocks first, kept going with the plan. The next month I had a 17 and a half K month and I wasn't launching yeah. anything like, and so much of it is to do with your mindset and working on those blocks totally is and I know that um because we've spoken about that because I've had some very weird months where I've gone into that because it's almost like especially with me where I'm preparing my life my body for a baby that sometimes I can get so in that that then like understandably I don't I'm not so over the top with my business I'm not so like do you need anything business like really over the top about it And then I had similar beliefs that because I'm doing that, I can't have both. And, um, and I would notice that I'd get myself anxious and get myself all stressy. And like you said, very similar thoughts, like maybe last year was a fluke, 
Maybe it was <laughs> maybe I did it once and I, I don't know how to do it again. And I remember thinking that. And then literally my sales stopped as well. Like as I was thinking and feeling it, my reality was a complete reflection of what I felt. And the minute that I changed that, like, you know, I made like 12 grand in 48 hours. So it's like it, it can be that fast, can't it? Because people will get so scared, but you have that power to shift things so quickly when you are like, okay, let me get down with this fear. What's going on? And, you know, leaning into support, um, coaching yourself, you know, do, using all your tools to be able to to move through that. And then, and then you know, you've got your next drama waiting for you like around the corner because there is always one. A hundred percent. Like it, it is about continuing to move through those. And, you know, with the like very specific examples aren't they but you know if anyone's listened to this it could be it could be literally anything it's when you are doing something new so for for me in that time yes I'd created a six-figure year and gone on my holidays but now it was like my mind it was like it was trying to find reasons of why I couldn't have a few months off with a baby and yeah. it was trying to find those examples and because my mind never done it before we like me myself I'd never done it it was like I was trying to find the evidence that it wasn't possible for me to do that. Yeah, and that was the thing everywhere. that, yeah, that was what needed to be worked on. And then everything changed. And actually, I was able to take that time off and then actually kind of extend my mat leave a little bit. Like, because yeah. I wanted to take a bit more time off. Like, you know, I didn't really want to sell anything and I didn't have to. And it was great. And it was because of the year that I had last year. So it's, whatever you are going through at the moment like if it feels like it's not possible like work on those beliefs first and then bring in that strategy and that planning yeah and I love that it's sometimes just a perspective perspective shift because you'll be like mm -hmm. you, you, you said your brain will be looking for the evidence that it's not possible so why not look for the evidence that it is so oh that person's got it oh oh wow I just made a pound you know just like whatever oh. like, whenever I start feeling a bit dodgy I'm like oh okay um well, amazing, you know, Simon gave me five pounds just then, like, wow, it's all working out for me. And the minute that you start to be embracing of that energy, things start to shift anyway. So, yeah. I, I think um, another thing before we finish um, is that, that you just made me think of then, that there's a perspective shift and then also, like, thinking about the service and why you're doing this. And yeah. at that time, I remember really focusing in on, like, I'm not going to worry about, like, I'm going to be selling, but like the sales going to come. I'm I'm going to, I'm expecting them to come now. I'm going to focus on like why I'm so excited to serve, create this content, write this email, just deliver this program. I'm going to focus on all those things, and I got myself feeling really, really excited about business again yeah. instead of like freaking out about the future and yeah. just aligning myself back with like that vision again really, really helped. Um, so I'd say that was another thing if anybody wants to try that little nugget out too <laughs> oh yeah love it thank you so much we should we're totally gonna have like a third part when you have baby number two <laughs> yeah I don't feel like we could actually talk for another hour but maybe yeah yeah but we both got in the book <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah there's just gonna be so much and just like I'll be like oh when I have my baby and then just like all the the bits that you learn from Archie that will flow <laughs> to, to my yeah. journey so it's just like it's such an honor to like well, I love working with you and love sharing what you do with the world. So did you want to um, say what you've got going on right now, if anybody wants to work with you? Sure. So I've got two things that you can come into at the moment. So I've got a free three-day coaching experience coming up, which is called the Client and Cash Accelerator. So it's for anybody right now that might be experiencing any consist inconsistency with clients, confidence, cash coming in. And you basically want to grow your client base, you want to grow the cash that you've got coming in and you want to make it more consistent. So we're looking at the strategy, the mindset, the marketing and the messaging across the three days. It's totally free. And I know that you're going to have the link. Yes, and if anybody wants to create a six figure business with more freedom for themselves, more impact, more service with an aligned strategy, aligned mindset and energy, then I have opened the pre-sale of my mastermind, which is the program that you're in, the inner circle. Yeah. Yeah, so well, I'm reading it now because I'm going to do other stuff with you. But yes, <laughs> I, yeah, I rec really recommend a lot of what we've been talking about is because I get to have like one to one with you and get to have group and then get to like touch base with you every day if I need to when I'm crazy, which I do a lot. Um, and it's just so helpful. I, and for anybody listening, you know, like Serena, she may really resonate with you and she definitely just 
whoever feels good to you and you feel like this alignment with. I remember when I found you, it's because someone I knew worked with you, but then I started following all your stuff and I just like felt such a connection with you, which is um, when I was going, oh, we're actually really, really similar. And that's why, because I felt it through your content, right? So yeah. thanks so much for coming. Thank you so much for having me. I've thoroughly enjoyed it as always. <laughs> Thank you so much. I will share your links and have a wonderful day. Thanks. Bye. I hope you enjoyed today's podcast. Don't forget to follow, subscribe, tell your friends about the podcast and leave a review. Good or bad, I want to hear what you think and make sure you follow us on Instagram, hearts underscore underscore happiness and I will see you in the next episode.